How do you balance your schoolwork and fighting the battles with your mother? After I get home from school, I tend to spend at least two hours with her, just watch a movie, listen to what's what she wants to say, say, and most of all, even when she tells me to leave her alone, just bother her. Right, Courtney, how do you feel to be the winner of the Global Poetry Foundation competition for 2023? I feel elated to know that I am representing my country, Jamaica, as the youngest finalist and winner of this beautiful competition. I first heard about this competition about one, one year ago in 2022 when one of my mentors introduced it to me. My mentor inspired me to enter because I love poetry and she also said that I have a beautiful voice and wonderful po poetry to enter into this co competition. Okay, how many points did you enter? I entered one in every category, so that is about 15 points. So you have 15 points on hold already to enter. So how do you feel about your achievement now? I don't have words to say. <laughs> I don't have words to say. I am proud of her and I pray for God to continue to bless her and cover her. At one point in your in her life, did you realize that she has this great talent? When she was going to St. Joseph Infant School, and um, I think it was we were going home, and we were at the water theater passing because we were walking, and a uh, gentleman said something, and she she said, "We must have service." service and then she started repeating it and then when I went back to school next day I was saying it to the teacher and she said I knew you didn't know that correctly can be poem and I said but I just discovered it yesterday and then from there on the teacher decided to let you into JCDC and then it all started right there. What inspires my writing is the things that are happening now in Jamaica and from everything that my friends and family has to told me. Tell us some more about your preparations for the exams. What I'm do doing right now, how to get myself focused, is to put everything aside and just focus on my well-being and making sure that I am okay here as well as my mother is okay. Which high school do you want to pass for? Campion College. How do you balance your schoolwork and fight in the battles with your mother? After I get home from school, I tend to spend at least two hours with her, just watch a movie, listen to what's wrong, what she wants to say, say, and most of all, even when she tells me to leave her alone, just bother her. Bother, bother, bother. I have spinal cancer, and uh, with God grace, I am pulling through. Okay. So I don't really let it get to me, and uh, um, I don't want it to get to her because I want her to stay focused. Courtney is one of those students who, you know, is intrinsically motivated and um, an ardent Catholic, and always somebody who tries to inspire students who are, you know, not only younger than she is, but those who are older than she is. A uh, very charismatic, warm highly involved young lady and um, she would have been the first child with whom I interacted. She is just beyond her years mm -hmm. and um, her mother is indeed someone who she is currently in a wheelchair right. and she asks for assistance to go up to the grade six. Uh -huh. If a teacher is absent, you know, that's incredible. I think for me, the most outstanding attribute is that she is humble. She is very humble wants to help in the canteen, just wants to help. And she will go to a teacher who never taught her before and say, Miss, are you okay? Mm -hmm. She's just kind of different. You know, I say, I'm calling, how is everything? How is mommy? And she will say, you know, it's in God's hands. Mm -hmm. Those are not the types of discourse that you would have somebody at her age, mm -hmm. you know, sharing. It's just beyond her years. So. Um, her mother, though, and I, we have a different relationship. Mm -hmm. And she would have shared with me, sir, I just want to make it to the graduation. Mm -hmm. And even in my own life as a Christian, that statement is highly profound. Mm -hmm. you know? So we continue praying um, for her and for her family.